Hello, it's Andy. Today I want to show you how we get our power, our electricity. We're not hooked up to any any power lines or city power. We're very remote here, so we have to make our power ourselves. So, so we have a few different ways that we we make it. So I'll show you. Okay, so the one way we make power is uh, with generators. So these are diesel generators. Um, this, they're both Kubotas. This one is a uh, makes 12 kilowatts, and this one over here makes um, 28 kilowatts. And we don't use them very much, only when we've got bigger groups here. So they use uh, diesel fuel. So here's here's the tanks. So the other way we make power is, uh, you see the battery banks here, is with water power. The, we've got a uh, small turbine here, and the water comes in from the reservoir, and it's, it's about 80 feet of head, what that means elevation. So it's making about 40 pounds of pressure. So it's got a three inch PVC line that splits out to these uh, two two inches. So there's two nozzles on it. And it makes about 260 watts constant, 24 hours a day, which is quite a bit. We uh, have freezers that are plugged into it, refrigerators and internet and the lights and stuff. And when we get, um, Sunshine, I have uh, solar panels too, and uh, so anyway, so the the way it works is the the water comes in, turns the the turbine, which turns the alternator generator, if you want to call it, and then powers up, goes to a charge controller, and then goes the charge controller goes into the battery. So the charge controller is a smart thing that doesn't overpower charge the batteries. And then the batteries, they end up going to an inverter, which makes then the house current. So it changes it from, from uh, DC current to AC current. So there's the charge controller. And then we have other charge controllers for the solar panels. So, it's quite the system. And we'll go out here and look at the, see where I've got the solar panels. So, yeah, it's hard to see. Up on that uh, roof up there. When there's sunshine, then we can uh, do other things like laundry and and uh, it actually makes with the sun it actually makes quite a bit more power than the, the uh, water power. So the water system it uses about 30 gallons a minute. I kind of figured out that here's the outlet of it so that's, that's the discharge so that's 30 gallons a minute so at 30 gallons a minute actually still i've got it hooked up to my main water line and uh, it's a three inch pvc uh water line that's buried to all the houses so that, that brings all the water into the houses too so by 30 gallons a minute i can still have enough, have plenty of water pressure at my house. So, so if I, I think if I took more than 30 gallons a minute, it'd really drop my water pressure. So, anyways, we're gonna head up to the reservoir, and I'll show you where the the water comes in. Okay, so we're on the the walk up to the 
reservoir right now. So when we got here, the, the water line was just a wood pipe and uh, it was above ground and the water would freeze. We'd have to turn it off. So we had to get buckets of water from the stream and stuff. So it was a little tougher um, than it is now. So we actually put this this little road or whatever in here and it's a uh, the little tractor and, and then we bought an excavator and got the pipe and then put uh, buried the water line so the water line is is buried right right below us so it uh is buried as deep as we could get it. And uh, there's a Sasquatch coming up. And we got a bear up here. <laughs> Fun stuff. All right, we're still heading up. And yeah, now with the Water line buried, we have water all year round, which is really nice. So, uh, and we expanded the, the reservoir up here too at one time. So, uh, it lasts a little bit before we get to the top here. So, here we're coming up. All right, here's the the reservoir here. Getting a little bit of leaves from the trees are falling in. So the, the pipe comes right up under the spillway there and then goes out. And during the winter time, the, you know, this, the ice gets over the top of this, but there's always flow underneath, so it works pretty good there so anyways and during the summertime i do have to turn the water power off during the have to turn it off during the day when we've got a lot more solar it's just the water coming off the mountain isn't very much i i think the mountain actually holds water i've been Actually, way, way up there to the, oh, somewhere up here, and it actually just comes out of the mountain. So there's some kind of a spring or something that keeps this thing fed, but it uh, definitely slows it down. So it's not, about, not 30 gallons a minute, probably about 20 or 15 gallons a minute if it's really dry summer so anyways that's how we get our our water power and uh and how we get our power and our water system so all right thanks for watching